Research has revealed that plants in a room show a measurable response on an EKG to strong thoughts and emotions about them. Praise and love them, and they tend to flourish. Curse and criticize them, and they may be stunted. If it is true of plants, it seems more than likely that it is also true of people. Thus, when you worry about a loved one, the child on the way home from school, the wayward youth who has run off to some commune, the husband with the alcohol problem, the friend in the hospital, you are putting the full weight of your consciousness on the side of their difficulty. You are hindering their progress. You actually become part of their problem. When you want to help someone about whom you are concerned, the important work is to be done in you. As far as you are concerned, the problems out there, no matter what or who they involve, exist in your mind, your prejudices, your fears, and your anxious concern. So your work initially is to change your thoughts, to heal and resolve your own concerns. This is why it is so very difficult to pray for one you love, your child, your spouse, a very close friend. You may defend your anxious concern by saying, but you don't understand, it's my baby. But I do understand, I have been there. You must make a choice. Do you want to help your baby or another person? Or do you insist on standing in their way? You must heal your concern. You must let go and release your loved one into God's care and keeping. The work to be done is in you, on your consciousness, not in the other person. You must change your thoughts 